Hey guys, it's Autumn here and welcome back to just another little speed art thing. I am going to talk about something kind of fun and interesting in this one though. So when this video is going up, it will be the 16th, which is the day before I will be leaving, but I am going to a convention this weekend. I am going to Saratoga Comic Con as I live in upstate New York, so it's the closest Comic Con type event to where I live, except for Poughkeepsie, which I've done before, but it was very, very small. So I am going this weekend with my friend Kelsey and we are going to be cosplaying as Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. I have red hair so I am going to be Poison Ivy because it makes the most sense because one of us doesn't have to wear a red wig and the other doesn't have to dye their hair or anything. So that'll be the fun part. Uh, I'm in the midst of working on the costume as I am recording this but I'm hoping that after this weekend I'll have like a vlog or just pictures and stuff to show you guys about this little trip that I'm taking and yeah I'm very excited about it. So for this picture I am drawing Poison Ivy. I think I'm going to do a partner piece with Harley Quinn and um, I'll probably end up giving that one to Kelsey so that way we both have the people that we cosplayed. I don't know when I'll have time to do it, but it'll definitely turn into a video when I make it, so you guys will see it when I see it, I suppose. Uh, so for this piece, I am using the Micron PN, and I am using one of the small um, marker sheets that I got, the Strathmore paper with the brown cover. I don't remember what size they are. They're small though, they're the same size as my Inktober pieces. Um, so that's that. This was just a quick sketch actually. I was trying to draw her digitally earlier in the day and it just was not turning out so I gave it a break for a while. I went out and started looking for pieces for my cosplay which I did not find as much as I had hoped but hopefully I will find the dress I need before um, Saturday. I think I will hopefully. Um, but yeah so this is the third attempt of me drawing her and I love 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 the way this one turned out. I put an ivy leaf in her hair, or well, a poison ivy leaf in her hair, at least the best that I could draw, and little vines poking out um, from her hair. I kind of imagined that like they kind of tendrilled up behind her neck which is why there's one coming down in front of her neck and kind of popped up through her hair. And she's wearing a green dress and her eyes are super green and her hair is about as bright red as you can possibly get it. The only issue with this footage is it's kind of like washed out and very warm colored from my light because I was doing this a little bit later at night than I normally would. So I do apologize for that. I was having this issue with another video I was trying to film and I ended up having to scrap it, which kind of sucks because it would have been really cool to show you guys that footage. But uh, there's not much I can do about it. It was just washed out and didn't look great. So uh, I am using Copic markers for this piece. Uh, completely fully Copic markers this time. There are no Winsor Newton markers included in this piece at all and I love the way it came out. I, I think I'm getting pretty good at using Copics for shading but it has been such a long time since I've used color in a piece or I've used just Copics in a piece. So yeah. You'll see here I'm using the tip to tip method of shading because I don't have a mid-tone green so I'm trying to make one with my marker so it looks a little bit more natural for the shading for her eyes. I do go back later and use this purple that I'm using to shade her skin on the eyes as well. So I don't know if I've really talked about this because I have the attention span of a goldfish when I record videos sometimes, but I haven't actually really read the comics based on Poison Ivy or Harley Quinn. I know Harley Quinn was a psychiatrist, I believe, and she kind of met the Joker and went crazy or something. I don't really know the whole story on that one. And I think Poison Ivy is similar. She was like a scientist and experimented and ended up giving herself plant powers or something. Um, I do know, however, that they are together, which is one of the cutest things ever. Their relationship is adorable because they're like, they're villains, but they're not really super evil villains. Like, you don't think um, Thanos type villain when you think them. You think more, okay, they're villains, but they're not really super evil villains. They just kind of do what they want and they hang out and they're really cute. Um, I do plan on reading this 
the comics based on them. I actually want to see if while I'm at Sarag Saratoga Con, I can see if I can find a print with the two of them or at least one of Poison Ivy so I can have that as a memory of the time that I got to cosplay her. Um, if you guys have recommendations on which comics I should read about Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, let me know. Because I do know that they're Batman villains for the most part. I know that they kind of can cross over into other universe or other heroes and such, but they're, I don't know who. Uh, so back to the piece. Sorry, I'm kind of squirreling all over the place. My brain is a little tired this evening. Um, so I used the Copics. She has a very pale skin tone similar to mine, so I just left it as that. And I did her eyes green because her eyes are green from what I could tell. They're like a sickly, like almost cat green. Um, her hair is super red and I only have one red Copic marker, so her hair is hecka red. So I just left it like that when I was coloring it and shaded it with one of my darker brown markers that I got to do Jack's hair um, when I was working on drawing him and I was trying to find the correct colors for his hair, which is very, very difficult to do because his hair is such a specific color. I was having an issue with this red though and I kept like bleeding out very slightly. Uh, I, this happened on the leaf and it happened on her chin and a little bit on her ear, but it's not too noticeable. I think if you look at the picture really hard, you'll see it, but other than that, you probably wouldn't realize that there's red on there. Um, there's not much else for me to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this piece. I will be, again, doing a partner Holly Quinn piece at some point. I just think I need to get a couple more colors in order to successfully do that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone!
Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there. And if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!